It's beyond my wildest dreams, hopes, expectations and aspirations to share my knowledge with you. Knowledge is the only thing that no one can take away from you. Today, we are going to get this deep sense of validation that you are not alone in your preparation. And I'm going to help you feel more peaceful. I'm going to help you to get your power back. And I'm going to help you to focus on all the things which are needed. And I'm going to guide you to take the power of your response. And finally, today I'm going to highlight a much more powerful and profound video for your bright future. And today's topic is on the theorem from functions and this is related to MFCS, DMS and DMGT. So this theorem is very, very important for your EC score and let me explain you. See here, if F maps from A to B is a bijector, is a bijection, then prove that F circle F inverse is equal to IB and F inverse circle F is equal to IA. See here in this THEM then plays, plays a vital role. See here in every theorem statement. So we have to find for then. So before then, whatever the sentence it is, it is given. So after then, so we have to prove. So here before then, what is given? F maps from A to B is a bijective function. So bijection means two. Bi means two. So we have two properties inside. That is F is 1, 1 property and F is on two property. So here now we have to prove that F circle F inverse is equal to IB. And F inverse circle F is equal to IA. How to remember this? See here F inverse is in the second position and therefore this is IB. F inverse is in the first position. Remember that it is IA. So here A after B. So here F inverse is in the second place and therefore it is IB and F inverse is in the first place it is IA so that you can remember easily. And now see here in the proof what is given F maps from A to B is a bijection and all obviously you know that F inverse maps from B to A it's an inverse thing we have to interchange these sets that is B to A is also a bijection. So we have a theorem for this. And therefore, if F maps from A to B is a bijection, we have two properties. One is 1, 1 and one is on 2. So I am selecting this on 2 property. F maps from A to B is an on 2 function. F maps from A to B is an on 2 function. Then there exists a small b belongs to capital B and A belongs to capital A such that. See here, for small b belongs to capital B, then there exists a small a belongs to capital A such that F of A is equal to B. Clear? So, from the onto property, we got f of a is equal to b. If I send this f to other side, this will become inverse. Therefore, a is equal to f inverse of b. So, I'll use these two equations whenever it is needed. See, it is very clear that f is a bijective function. And f inverse maps from b to a is also a bijection. So, for from the single statement I have taken, that is f is an onto function. So, from this onto function, we have f of a is equal to b and a is equal to f inverse of b. Is it not clear here? f of a is equal to b from the onto property. And now see here, first thing is we have to prove that f circle f inverse is equal to ib. f circle f inverse is equal to ib. So, first of all, when whenever the two functions are asked to prove equal so we have to find their domains so what is the function f f maps from a to b what is f inverse it's from b to a so we need f circle f inverse so f circle f inverse means we have to start with inverse so from inverse it is set b so we have to take a cross here this is from b to b and next one ib so we have to check this domain so this is also maps from b to b so here the domain is b for both the functions which we need to prove that so here f circle f inverse iv domains are same clear and now we have to prove both the functions are equal so in order to show both the functions are equal and the domain is b and let small b belongs to capital b clear and we have already got from f maps from a to b is a bijection it is on to f of a is equal to b and a is equal to f inverse of b we got from this statement so this is say number one f of a is equal to b and a is equal to f inverse of b and now i have to start with this f circle f inverse of b so as this is a composition so f of f inverse of b what is f inverse of b here it is very clear that f inverse of b is equal to a so what is f of a f of a is equal to b since f is and onto function. 
So B is equal to if IB is an identity function from B to B and this can be written as IB of B and we have started from F circle F inverse of B and we got IB of B and therefore both the functions are same. And next we have to prove that F inverse circle F is equal to IA. See, this is the second proof that is F inverse circle F is equal to IA. Remember that F inverse is in the first place, therefore it is IA. And now we have to show these two domains are equal. So what is F here? F maps from A to B. And F inverse maps from B to A. And we need F inverse circle F. So we have to start with F. Go to F here, so F has a domain A. And see, we have to take a cross, that is, it is from A to A. And IA, so this is the second function, so this is also an identity function from A to A. Therefore, the domains of both the functions are A. And therefore, F inverse circle F and IA domains are same. And therefore, the domain is from the set A and therefore, I am taking. See here, let small a belongs to capital A f inverse f of a is equal to f inverse of f of a and what is f of a since f is a bijective function which is on to f of a is equal to b so f inverse of b is nothing but a and which can be written as i a of a where i a is an identity function and therefore as the domains are equal f inverse of f is equal to a and hence the theorem if f maps from a to b is a bijection then F circle F inverse is equal to IB, F inverse circle F is equal to IA and hence the theorem. So, hope you all guys understand. So, this is very very easy theorem but most important. See here, in the given theorem statement, it is given that F maps from A to B is a bijection. So, if it is a bijection, F maps from A to B is a bijection, then F inverse maps from B to E is also a bijection and it is a bijection. So, F is 1, 1. See here, F is 1 1 and on to even on to function and therefore since f is an on to function f maps from a to b small b belongs to capital b then there exists a small a belongs to a such that f of a is equal to b and a is equal to f inverse of b now we have to prove that f circle f inverse is equal to ib so we have to check whether these two domains are equal or not we have f maps from a to b and f inverse maps from b to a so we have to start with f inverse so f inverse starts from b so, if you go cross like this, it is B to B and IB is B to B. Therefore, the domains are the same. And if the domains are the same, we have to take an element from B set and therefore small b belongs to capital B. And if I take a B from this set and started here, this composition turns into bracket that is F of F inverse of B. F inverse of B, as you know that F is onto function, it is A and F of A is equal to B. As it is an onto function, so IB is an identity function. Therefore, if you equate, we got the required proof. And next one, again, we have to prove that F inverse of F is equal to IA. So, we have to check these two domains are equal. F maps from A to B and F inverse maps from B to A. F inverse circle F is equal to A to A and IA from A to A. Therefore, the domains are the same. So, here the domain is A. That small a belongs to capital A. F inverse of F of A is equal to F inverse of F of A. F inverse of B which is equal to A. And therefore, F inverse of circle F is equal to IA. Therefore, if F maps from A to B is a bijection, then F circle F inverse. So, F inverse is in the second place, therefore IB. F inverse is in the first place, it is IA. Clear? Hope you got an idea on this theorem. So, first we have to equate the, we have to check whether the domains of the both functions are equal and we have to select one element from that domain and we have to calculate and therefore LHS is equal to RHS. So the, it is the required proof. Thank you so much for watching. So this is also very very most important theorem. So I have already uploaded four theorems for your preparation and tomorrow also I will upload one more and definitely these uh, uh, playlist functions will be very helpful for your preparation. Spread the knowledge. Um, pass it on to your friends, siblings and everyone. Raise your thumb. Pass it on to your friends. Thank you so much for watching and staying till the end.